Hi, I'm Jason Jurtich, and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video, we're going to see something extremely important for teachers, which is how to change the options of a question in hundreds of forms with just one script instead of having to open up each one and changing those options one by one. This is very simple, and you can do this by following the video exactly without knowing, having to know anything about scripts, just as long as you do what I have here in the video. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all of your forms that you want to change at once in one folder. This folder should have nothing else except the forms inside. If these forms already have their response spreadsheets made, you need to move those to another folder. That will not affect where the forms put their answers at all. So you can put those anywhere you want and that will not affect this. But you need to make sure that there's nothing else in this folder except the forms that you are going to change the options to. After you have all those forms in one folder, the next thing you're going to do is create a normal spreadsheet. It can be for anywhere you want as long as it's not in this folder. So we're going to go here and create this. Create this. We're going to give this a name. It can be any name you want. This doesn't make any difference either. So we're just going to put change options in forms. Enter. And as you can see, that guy later on will, exactly, he comes out here. Now that we have that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to go to Script Editor. Once I'm in here, the first thing I'm going to do is change the name here. And again, we can do this to any name we want. So we'll just put the same thing. After we're done with that, what you're going to do is under this video, you're going to find a public link to the script that I have shared. All you're going to do is open up that script and you're going to copy everything that's in there, the 21 lines. We're going to press Control C and we're going to go back to the script that you pulled from this spreadsheet here, having, to go, having gone to Tools and Script Editor. Here, you're going to select everything and you're going to press Control P or Control V to paste that in this area here. Now, after you've pasted this, you only have to change three things. Outside of that, nothing else has to be changed and it works perfectly. We're going to make this bigger here so you can see a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to do is change the folder ID. We're going to change this part here. Do not erase the quotation marks. Those are very important. So we're going to go back to Drive. We're going to go to this folder where my forms are. We're going to press right click and we're going to get the get link here. Okay, we're going to click on that. And as you can see, this pops out here. All right. Now, it won't let you, unfortunately, select only a part of this, which is what we need. So we're going to select everything. We're going to press Control C and we're going to go back to our scripts here and we're going to put Control V here so we can have that. Now, we need to delete everything right here before what's before the equal sign. We're going to delete all that because we don't need it up to the, the quotation marks here. We're going to lead him. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to see. As you can see here, you, many times there's going to be something here afterwards, especially if you try to grab it from this other area here. For example, if I go over here and I click on this and I press share, it's going to come out with this and it's got this here. And as you can see, all of this, it goes to KK. Okay. And if you go here to the script, you're going to see this is KK, which means it's the same name. The only thing you have to do is make sure you delete the rest of this at the and sign here. We're going to delete all of that if you try to copy it from this area here. But what you want in the end is the folder ID. So we're going to keep that like this and now we're ready to go there. The second thing we're going to change here is the question title. Remember, the question title has to be the same for all your forms. So even if you have 200 forms, as long as the question title is the same in those 200 forms in relationship to the names of the students, for example, then you're fine. This can be as long as you want. This can be what is your name. This can be please select your name. It can be anything you want. We're just going to, for the sake of simplicity, just leave name. But as long as that is the same for whatever amount of forms you have, you're okay. So we're going to change that here to name because that is the question title. Remember to put this in uppercase if you have an uppercase or exactly the way it is in the question. The last thing we have here is the sheet name. Where is What is that? That's where your names are gonna go. We're gonna pull from this spreadsheet here. So here down here, we can leave, it, leave this like this or we're gonna change this and we'll just put student names for right now. Enter. 
And we'll put that exactly the way it is in my script here. So go over here and delete this and put student name. Okay, if it's more specific to you, look, for example, here I have names and this one is names. So I have to make sure I put the S there, otherwise it would not work. So those are the only three things you have to do. After you're finished with that, you go up here to the save button and you click save. It will get rid of the red asterisk that was right here. Now we're going to go back out again so we can see what we're doing. And after we finish that, we're going to go here to the run button. Let's see this run button here. We're going to click on this. And we're going to press continue to authorize. Here we're going to press allow. After doing that, we're going to go back to our script here. Now, it's going to give you an error here. Why is it giving you this error? Because I don't have any names in the cells here. So what we can do here, just so the poor guy doesn't feel bad, we're going to put just simple names here. So we're going to put, in, for example, all in uppercase here. We're going to put John. Mary and James, for example. Okay, now that I have those three names here, that little error should disappear the next time I press run here. So we're going to press run. And there it goes. Okay, now as you can see, it will already have magically fixed these. As you can see, now I have John, Mary, and James in the form one, John, Mary, and James in the form two, and John, Mary, and James in the form three. As you can see, it changed all of them. And it makes no difference if I have three forms or 200 forms, it will change all of them. Now, what we want to do is modify one last thing so this becomes automatic. That means we're going to go back here and we're going to go into resources. And resources, we're going to click on current project triggers. Now, we're going to click on this here. It says no trigger set up. Click here to add one. We are going to add one. And here, we're going to leave this as update list. Instead of time driven, we're going to say from spreadsheet. And then we're going to say on change. That means whatever happens in the spreadsheet will allow this script to work. So we'll press save on that. And now this guy is ready to go. We're just going to click on run one more time to make sure that he's running fine with that new trigger. Okay. It hasn't done anything because I haven't changed the names. But now I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet. And in theory, after I've added these things and it has saved, it should change the rest of the forms. So as you can see here, I have John, Mary, and James. And these forms have John, Mary, and James. I do not have to close this all. It will change automatically, even if they're wide open. So let's go back here to the spreadsheet and add some more names. Here I've added Mark and Luke, as you can see. It has now finished changing. It has now finished saving. I'm sorry. Now let's go here. As you can see, it has now added Mark and Luke. Here the same and here the same. And now finally, let's say I didn't want all these names. Let's say I wanted to get rid of these last three or even all four. Then I can select all these guys, delete them, come out, let it to save because it has to make the changes first. I can make a pause there. And then after I go back to the forms, as you can see, it will now delete these from the list. So it will follow exactly what you have on the spreadsheet. As long as the spreadsheet has been edited, all of the other forms will follow suit. 